How's it going everybody? We are on video 3 of this testing ground cycle and today it's Jean Hu's turn. I'm sure most of you have gotten the chance to play already so you've experienced the absolute beauty that is Jean Hu now. From all of the 7 heroes, Jean Hu has profited the most and has climbed up to be a top contender in every mode that has team fighting. He's arguably even pushing Kensei out of the number one spot when it comes to best team fighter. And no, I'm not messing with you, the hero is really that good. This video will have a lot of numbers, so be prepared for that, but it will also be a nice showcase that simply changing the speed and the recovery values a tiny bit can create an absolute monster. So let's go over the changes then. Jean Hu is now able to recovery cancel all of his attacks on whiff, hit and uninterrupted block at 333 ms into the recovery. This includes finishes and his dodge attacks. When the character released he was dubbed as limitless, but then when playing him he felt quite clunky. Well, that's no longer the case. The flow feels extremely nice and you can really dance around the battlefield like a little ballerina when weaving in that zone attack. Then for his dodge attacks, you already know that Jean Hu has bi-directional dodge attacks depending on the attack input. Those are enhanced now, so even when your opponent blocks them, you can continue your chain. Previously, those were also light parries. The patch notes say that they're supposed to be heavy parries now. So let's talk about that real quick. Personally, I am annoyed by how much dodge attacking is happening in the game. I think they are far too safe and oftentimes a catch-all option. I've read many posts and comments of people suggesting to make all dodge attack light parries. I don't think that's the solution, because people won't stop dodge attacking. All this will do is that fights are over quicker, but I will still have to fade to neutral all the fucking time. I don't really have an answer for this problem, especially not one that I'd be happy with myself. In Jun Hu's case, I don't want the dodge attacks to be heavy parries. They're way too good now, so keep them as light parries. He'll manage just fine with that little handicap. What got added to the dodge attacks on top of all that is that when you superior block beforehand, they will turn into unblockables. The side dodge ones do 22 damage, same as the forward dodge light. The forward dodge heavy will do 30 damage then. Careful though, the heavy is not always guaranteed. I don't have a list right now as that would require me to know the superior block recovery value of every single attack. Should it ever be necessary, I might look into it, but for now, just try and parry it. The forward dodge light got changed, it is now 500 milliseconds. For once, an attack has been slowed down. It used to be 400 ms. That one is actually quite noticeable, because compared to everything else, when performing this move, it feels like your hero is somehow holding back. It's probably a mix of being used to the faster version and now having this amazing kit. But they also added something, forward dodge and guard break now lets you perform the palm strike that used to be the deflect follow up. This also means it got removed as an option from superior block dodges. It is a 500 millisecond bash that confirms a follow up light. That light is your neutral one so you can change straight into your unblockables. The input window is similar to the other bashes introduced in this testing round. The minimum delay is 300 ms into the dodge and maximum delay is 500 milliseconds. Jean-Hu's dodge is very inconspicuous though. Other heroes have these huge dodge animations. His is very subtle. It'll take a while to get used to it. Well, at least it will for me. Don't know about you. And remember, you have tons of recovery consoles. That also means that you can go straight into that bash from every finisher or even mid-chain. Tracking wise, the earliest dodge timing should be around 600 milliseconds before impact. You can dodge on Jean Hu's dodge is what that means. 200 ms before you even see the unblockable indicator. It feels much better than this number that's on to be honest, but it's not really tracking someone's early dodges reliably. When punishing it, you once again have to make a read if you don't go for the dodge attack. The Jean Hu can stuff your GB attempt with a light, but because the attacks here are neutral attacks, a heavy is not an option.
Okay, then for his zone attack, let's say it straight up. Jeonhu has the single best zone attack in the game in this iteration, especially for team fights. It is a 500 millisecond undodgeable attack with an almost 360 degree hitbox. Compared to the light version, it has been sped up from 600 milliseconds. Remember when I talked about Warden Zone having the undocumented undodgeable property, which makes it extremely good? Well, Jeonhu's zone is even better than that. It is usable in chain and the recovery is pretty decent, 700 ms to GB and 800 milliseconds for guard swap. Dodge recovery, I can't quite make out, it should be at 333. Guard appears at 400 and I see movement at 433 though. This might actually be one of the rare cases where Ubisoft overbuffed something. Even at 600 ms, it would still be an absolutely amazing tool. It is vital though that the recovery is kept in line. If a single move feels clunky, the whole flow of that hero will feel off. And while we're talking about the speed of attacks, there is an undocumented change as well. The unblockable finisher lights have been sped up ever so slightly. They are now 566 instead of 600. For the most part, they are still reactable, but let me hear if any one of you felt a significant increase of those attacks landing on an opponent. 33ms can make a huge difference, I'm just not sure whether that's the case here. And then as a last thing, the right side heavy finisher trajectory was adjusted. Basically, it got a good hitbox now, and you can really feel and see it. You're no longer limited to left side, and you can catch early dodges with both sides now. All in all, this genre iteration is pure joy to play. I'd have no issues implementing this one straight away. If it turns out that some parts are too strong, we can still adjust them downwards along the road. But I can absolutely recommend to try them out if you haven't yet. Just be aware that you are a team fighter and not a 1v1 specialist. Pick your fights and you will have tons of fun playing it. With that said, I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Laters everybody. I can't aim it, that's the problem. I'm pretty sure that would hit you otherwise. Well, lock on and do it. Oh. No. Well, um, stand to my left, because that thing... Doesn't the hitbox uh, stop when it executes you? Probably. I think Graf should stand to my left and we should try that. No, 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 no. Oh, right. Pick other side, other side, because that's how we did the, un uh, yep. the unlocked one. Oh. oh. Very smart. I mean, I didn't change. Oh. I'm a fucking idiot. Cheat. We're also on stairs, which is really shit. We should have done this on flat. Yep.